Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Look, what have I got? I have got a new MT Thunder 4 helmet and also Tristana 30k. These two items I purchased it last week, but I did not get time to shoot the video. That's why I am shooting it today. And for your kind information, I already have my previous helmet. I am using that helmet as the backup helmet. But this particular helmet, I wanted to upgrade it from a long time. And now it is happening. And I thought of upgrading my helmet and also my intercom. So I went for the Senna 30K. This is the top of the line intercom that you will get in the market. And as of now, you, get, you are seeing a new camera angle on my channel because I have mounted my GoPro on the mirror using a moon mount. And let me know how this particular footage is looking like. I'm sure you are liking this because if I mount the camera on my chin, on the helmet, you will not be able to see my view. This is the first time I'm showing you a different view. And in this view, I'm also uh, using my Senna because the audio is being recorded via the Senna mic. So my Senna is connected to the GoPro using the Bluetooth. If I don't use the Senna, then I don't have a Bluetooth mic. That's why I have connected it. The audio quality might not be as great as my previous videos because there I'm using the Sony mic which is built for a purpose. But this particular mic is built for a uh, for calling purpose so the audio might be a little distorted but that's okay. Now coming to the price of this helmet, it costed me 13,000 rupees and the Senna, uh, it costed me 30,000 rupees. So 30 plus 13 becomes 43k which I invested on my helmet and the intercom. There were better helmets than this helmet also but I like this particular color scheme and uh, this fluorescent color which you are seeing, it's a high visibility color, it's meant for safety and I wanted to, uh, I did not want to compromise on safety uh, as well as the shell of this helmet is very good. Take a U-turn from here. I know you guys might be thinking, why why did I go for this fluorescent color helmet? Uh, I like this color because it adds on to the aesthetics of the rider and also it, uh, it provides high, high visibility during the night time. So anyone coming from far behind or far ahead will be able to watch me a lot earlier than on a different colored helmet. That's why I have gone for, gone for this particular color scheme. And I also used this Senna from last one week and boy oh boy, these in, uh, these intercom speakers are next level. I tested it at 150 km an hour also and even at that speed, I was on a call, I was able to hear the other person very clearly. The audio experience is really uh, next level. Nothing can match, of course, they are charging a very premium amount for that, which is around 30,000 rupees. 30,000 is not less, it's a lot of money. And this intercom is not for everyone because I wanted to have the top of the line on intercom. I went for it. Looking at my videos, don't get carried away and just buy one for yourself. Only if you require it, then you buy it or else. You can continue with the regular Bluetooth intercom. This one is absolutely not required. But uh, because I was upgrading my helmet, I wanted to upgrade my Senna as well. And I got it at a very good deal from Dynamic Riders. That's the store in uh, Jubilee Hills, Hyderabad. And they have uh, all types of riding gear, all types of biking accessories. If you want, you can check out their store. I'll put the link in the description section down below. And yeah, for now, let's enjoy the new helmet and the new view. The wind reduction is very good. Even at around 120 km an hour, I'm not able to feel any wind noise in my helmet. So it damps the wind noise to a great extent. So this is my new helmet. It's called the MT Thunder 4. It's a latest helmet and it costed me 13,000 rupees.
I have also installed the Sena on this. This is Sena 30K. This is medium version of Sena. Top of the line is 50S and starting model is 20S. So this is 30K which costed me 30,000 rupees. So yeah, I'll tell you the features of this particular helmet. It has a dual visor and there is a mechanism over here. There is a slider. So once you slide it, you'll be able to see the visor. This particular visor was there in the previous uh, Axor Hunter 4 helmet also. But in this particular helmet, the visor area is very wide. So it covers the entire vision of the rider. And apart from that, this helmet also has a couple of vents. Uh, so this is the vent for the head. And even after mounting my GoPro mount, I am able to use the front ventilation of this helmet. And uh, it, this helmet does not have a double D ring. It has a regular strap kind of a thing you can see over here. And the best thing about this hel helmet is its color pattern. It has this neon and orange pattern. And you can see the ratings over here. It says DOT, ECE. And it's, it's very light in weight, only 1550 grams. And the most important uh, feature of this helmet is the shell of the helmet. It can withstand impact of up to 150 kilometers an hour. Previous helmet, the uh, uh, Apex Hunter used, had a speed rating of 100 kilometers an hour. So this is definitely better than that. And also I have in mounted my mic. You can see this particular port. This is for the GoPro mic, which I have not mounted it over here. Because uh, you saw in my previous shot, right? My GoPro is mounted on the mirror. mirror and I have purchased this mount from Amazon. This costed me 700 rupees. I'll provide you the link of Amazon in the description section down below. If you want to purchase this particular mount for your GoPro, you can do that as well. And uh, from now on, I will be mounting my camera over there as well as over here so that you guys can see uh, a different view on my channel. And now let's come to this particular Senna that ha I have installed on this particular uh, this helmet. So. This Senna has a dial which is used for uh, increasing or decreasing the volume. Apart from that, you can also change track using this button and scrolling. And then uh, there is another feature of the, this Senna is there is a button over here. If I press this button, this the Senna can be removed from it. The main module is removed and all the wiring and fitness uh, fitments are still on the helmet. Now, by doing this, you can uh, keep the helmet anywhere you want and you can just charge this particular item. It has a Type-C port over here. So, using this Type-C port, this Senna can be charged. Now, coming to the uses of this particular uh, intercom is that it can connect to 12 different riders. And uh, also, the audio volume of the speakers are very good. The previous intercom which I was using... In that particular, uh, in those speakers, if I was above 60 kilometers an hour and I was on a call, I was not able to hear, hear anything what the other person used to say. And I have tested these Senas. They performed really good. Even at around 150 kilometers an hour, I was able to clearly hear what the other person was saying. So it, it does the job pretty well because, of course, it has to do, right? Because they, have, they are charging 30,000 rupees for this particular intercom. And uh, I'll show you the mounting also uh, you just have to slide it like this and press there will be a clicking sound and then it gets mounted uh, i will show you the mic also you can see the mic this is the mic of the senna from which the earlier part of the video was recorded and this senna can get connected to the gopro also so, uh, because I have mounted my GoPro over there, if I want to record my audio at the same time, uh, it is recorded via the Senna and uh, the mic, the audio quality of the Sony mic that I'm using for my GoPro is very good. Uh, Senna's mic is not at the, at the same level of the Sony mic because Sony mics are designed for audio recording, whereas the Senna mics are designed for communication. That's where the difference is. And apart from that, uh, I have also installed my mic in this particular helmet. It's somewhere over here. I have hidden it under the cheek pads because I wanted to reduce the wind noise while I'm recording with my GoPro. So I have done that. And there is a dust protector on this helmet as well. So this dust protector is looks very premium. But I must say when I wear this helmet, the weight distribution of this helmet is very good. Previous helmet used to feel heavy. 
this helmet is very light so i am liking this particular helmet in that sense and yeah this was everything about my uh, new intercom and the helmet and i have purchased the uh, total mrp of these two products is 43000 rupees 30000 for the intercom and 13000 for the helmet i have got a very good deal from the dynamic riders showroom uh, it's a motorcycle gear shop in hyderabad banjara hills if you are interested to buy any of your uh, riding accessories or riding gears you can visit that store it has awesome it has various types of accessories uh, and it's it is kind of a basic a uh, paradise for bike lovers so do check their store out i am dropping their link in the description section down below so let let me know in the comment section below how did you find my senna and the helmet and also consider subscribing my channel because it is free for you but it definitely helps me a lot and also if you have gained some knowledge from this video do hit that like but button with that i will sign off from this video and i hope to see you in my next video till then bye, -bye.